Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, aclark14. And what we can do if we're having some display issues in our perspective view. So to illustrate this, I have the saline from the Maya Modeling Techniques Automotives course. And here in my front view, if I were to select some pieces of this car, and then switch to my transform tool. You can see I'm able to see my uh, transform manipulator here. As well as if I switch to rotate, I can see everything all right. So let's switch into a split view with perspective. We can see here in my perspective view, I'm not able to see my manipulators. See, I'm switching between the transform and rotate, but I'm not seeing them here in my perspective view. Well, if we're having this issue, one place that we can go to check and make sure that we're able to see the manipulators is here in the panels menu. Okay, so let's come uh, full screen in our perspective view. And if we go to show, down here at the bottom we'll have manipulators. So if this is turned off, we won't be able to see the manipulators in that particular view. So I can check this back on, and now if I select a piece of geometry, I'm able to see the manipulator, uh, in this case the rotate, or if I switch to my move tool, the translate manipulator. Now if we're still having some display issues, we may want to check our system requirements against the system requirements for Maya. To do that, we can simply hop over to Autodesk's website, and here we'll see some of the basic system requirements for Maya. Now the primary piece of hardware that's going to be driving the display in our viewport is our graphics card. So down here we can find the certified hardware chart. So let's click on that. Find our version of Maya and the operating system that we're using. And we can open up a listing of the graphics cards that have been tested and are certified to work with Maya. Now keeping in mind that Maya is a very powerful piece of software that can in turn require some powerful hardware in order to run it. That's a look at how we can adjust the display of our transform manipulators as well as take a look at Autodesk's website in order to check our system specifications against the system requirements for Maya.